All right, so I got this clearance broken. I don't care because I'm just going to repair it. Oh, I hope everything is here. I wasn't missing anything. So I'm going to take this piece off and see if I can do uh, some sort of uh, plastic weld, maybe with needles or something. I don't know how deep I can go. Let's see. Because this thing does, this thing has turning features. Although, you know, once you put it in the ground, you don't need to do all that. Let's see. Let's see. Is everything here? Everything's here. You could do super glue, but. Oh, crap. Okay, make sure I don't interfere with uh, the twisting. I was going to do like needles up through here, but I see that it goes into here. So let's see. Oh, looks like we're, looks like we can screw with that. Yeah, it looks like we're good. <laughs> Heat up um, a needle. Well, then I have to take this piece off to see what interference is in there. I think this is supposed to turn. Yeah. But we don't need... We don't need all that feature. I mean, once you turn these into the position, that's the position you leave it in. Alright, so I'll see what that is. Normally I'd epoxy, but I don't think that's going to work out either. Or maybe, but I don't know how long a good epoxy will hold it. Hey, anyway, we'll see. Definitely want to put needles in there. Pins as metal support. All right, so what I'm doing is I got got a needle, got it red hot on the torch, and poked holes into these two areas here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, probably cut this in half, insert it a different way, glue it in so that the pointer part of the needle is pointing. That way, uh, then I'll go over to here and just use the pointer so I can make some dents so I can see where where it's going to go and then heat up another needle and poke the holes in. And then I'll have the needle, this is going more than a quarter inch in. And I'll super glue. Make sure that goes straight. So I got about that much of quarter inch. I'll, then I'll super glue the two pieces together and super glue the needle into the hole. That way it'll have some support more than just the super glue. It never hurts to have some metal support in there. I guess the other option is no, no, because it's 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 like that. If this was two pieces like this, then you can do the metal staple. You heat it up a pin and just jam it right in there. But you, I can't do that on the way this is set up. Yeah. And then I turn this straight to make sure it's straight. So if the needle goes in and hits anything, it'll just stay straight ahead. Wow, oh, minute, two minutes. Yeah, show. okay. We got it hardened. Try not to interfere with that path down there. And mess up the wiring. You want to break this wiring here. Okay, so let's uh, get this reconnected. Let's get our little, our little bolt nut fastener, whatever the hell you want to call this thing. Let's spend two minutes trying to get this thing to go in straight. There we go. We done did it.
artist part of the video. Oh my god, that doesn't look pretty. For going outside and sitting around. Now the main reason why I did, I think I mentioned it, why I did those pieces going up is because this thing is supposed to turn. Now you're probably only going to turn it once in its lifetime, but whatevs, yeah? So there you go. Now you just need to stick this outside and charge it. Because uh, the two batteries that are in there, I didn't videotape it. The two batteries that are in here are sitting at uh, 2.5 volts each. So somebody left this um, on in the store and killed the batteries. All right. So we good. All right. So we left it out in the sun. And there we go. A nice charge light. Rotate, rotate, rotate on our base. Nothing we really need to. Once you set it up, you don't need to rotate anymore. So, there you go. All fixed. Who cares? It was broke. A lot of these are broke because this thing is so heavy up here. You see a lot of these in the store where that's broke. Big deal.